Calgary now. This is uh, a bit further south of Minderpur. Uh, this is southwest Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, we're troubled by these two towers here. We did some readings uh, by the highway uh, beside them and they were pretty extreme. We're in this nice community here. You see um, a lot of young kids in this community. A lot of nice residences here. These two new, new towers are, they've basically been deployed over the last month. And there's towers popping up almost every week now. They're, they're almost every quarter kilometer. Uh, share your comments, uh, you know, whether you're in other parts of the country, Canada, or uh, from other countries, let us know what's going on. Uh, the sad reality is uh, these uh, telecommunication companies are are uh, excluded from liability thanks to uh, the corruption in Ottawa uh, via Health Canada and Safety Code 6, which is an absolute joke. So let's do some readings now to see what's going on in this community. Yeah, it's fairly high here. We're in the mid-extreme level. Uh, you don't want to get any higher in this in this in this uh, nice residential community. We're going to have to monitor those towers. Uh, we don't think there's 5G up there yet, so um, these are base level readings. Yeah, because we are just starting anyway. We are not finished to build. Yeah, look at that. So you know see. it's yeah, it's too dark. It is. Yeah, it's speaking it's really out at 3.25. It's up to 2700, so this is already in the extreme zone. And we're going to have to monitor it. So much now. You, you see that, eh? It's really dark. Uh, yeah, four, uh, four, you know, 4.26, 4.5, 5.85. Five, 5 is Paul sitting out there? This is blanket EMF radiation. People need to realize that the telecommunication industry has been spreading uh, uh, false information. It'd be, be great if the social media companies would actually stop blocking their false content because they're trying to argue that this is, this is um, the EMF radiation is, is to reducing exponentially. That's just nonsense. Um, we've measured it over a kilometer away, very, very high. And we've done readings all over um, uh, uh, Calgary area, Greater Calgary, Victoria now, we've gone into the rural areas, same thing. So we're pretty far from this thing and we're getting mid-extreme levels in this nice community. So uh, it's a real concern. Please share your comments today, but we, uh, no one is holding these uh, companies accountable. So it's up to us, the Canadian people, to do that. And that's, that's why we're doing this. Um, someone needs to expose what's going on. Uh, it's affecting our health, our well-being, and we're going to keep posting all kinds of neat videos coming up. But there it is, right there. And it, we're in uh, Chapelina area here. Yeah. It's before Satan. Yeah. No way to talk or talk. Those kids don't even know what's going on. No, you don't know. They don't know right? anything. People don't, don't know, know anyway. Anything. The parents don't know. <laughs> you know. They flip on the mainstream media and you know everything is everything is what the media wants you to believe, right? Exactly. So that's the way it works. So I don't I don't watch the mainstream at all. I don't uh, have TV. <laughs> when, the only time I do watch it is just from a critical mind standpoint. Um, I'm just, you know, seeing seeing their uh, their spins, their rhetoric, uh, what man manipulation they're using. That's the only time I watch it. But, I, you know, the CBC and those big broadcast outlets, like, who can, like, like who can watch that garbage? I, I just people. don't understand it, man. But I, I think a lot of people are, are, are aware of the media, but, you know, th this is real life here.
Yep, I love to be. This is real life. This is real life stuff here. There's no no hiding that. Something unique. 